guys. I was in the area. I was wondering if I could borrow some pancake syrup. Why do you need pancake syrup? Well, duh, you can't eat crepes without syrup. Hey, Bobby, that's a waste of good food. You're already full of crepe. <laughs> Look, you got a creep eating crepe. Oh, my God. Oh, Is this somebody's plate? Mine? Well, here you go. Oh, no, no, I'm good, I'm good. Ooh, no, no. Look, I gotta go to school anyway, because I don't want to miss that pep rally. Pep rally? What do those kids have to cheer about? With a glee club get out of prison? Uh, not yet. But no, the basketball team is on fire this season. Bobby, look, they are threatening to win the state championship. Yeah, Carlos is leading the team in rebounding, assists, and points. Yes. And he's leading the league in steals. <laughs> yeah, that's on and off the court. Hey, guys, say what you want, but I'm taking my leftover pot roast that Jamal made for me last night for lunch, and I am out. Leftovers? I thought we ate the pot roast. Nope, it's in here in the bag marked squash. But you know I hate squash. Exactly, player. Holla! Rock and roll sensation Marcus Jackson is being prosecuted for his recent mishap with the paparazzi. I find you guilty as charged and order you to teach a class at South Central High School. Some booty, am I right? You are very right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Going for the league championship, you must be pretty proud of yourself. <laughs> well, I don't like to toot my own horn, but, uh, toot toot. <laughs> hey, Marcus, how does it feel to stand so close to greatness? I don't know, because you're blocking my mirror, player. <laughs> Man, you can't even spell greatness. Oh, oh please. That's easy. G R. Uh, the number eightness. Boom! <laughs> How many concussions has he had? Too many. Good morning. Good morning. It's such a wonderful morning. Oh. The flowers are blooming, the birds are singing. The teacher's been drinking. No, I have not. I just saw the man of my dreams last night. Wow. Well, Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Now, does he know he's the man of your dreams, or should he just assume when you let him out of your trunk? <laughs> ha ha. Marvin's an old friend. Ooh. We used to date years ago. We'd laugh and talk for hours. We have so much in common. So he's a stalker, too? <laughs> no. He's a great guy. Okay. Then why did you stop seeing him? <laughs> because a stupid wife came out of her coma. The nerve of her. Thankfully, she stayed awake long enough to give him a divorce. And now we're free to pick up where we left off. But there's one tiny problem that I need you guys help. Okay, okay well, we can't. Guys, oh, I need your help. Okay, but that's why we were trying to leave. But it's easy. Marvin mentioned that my famous chicken cacciatore won him over all those years ago. Okay, so make him some more. Well, that's just it. I kind of fibbed and didn't make it the first time. I ordered it from Verona's, this Italian restaurant downtown. I will order it again. I can't. Verona's burned down. Ugh. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'll whip up some chicken cacciatore for you. No offense, but I want to get a man, not kill him. <laughs> Marcus, you know some people. I bet you know a chef that could help a sister out. I mean, I do, but there are... Jamal! Jamal can help you out. Oh, please. I wouldn't let Jamal butter my buns. <laughs> Jamal made this. Taste it. It's wonderful. Hey, I can hook you up with Jamal, and he'll take good care of you. OK, hold on, hold on. I make a great pot roast, too. Let me taste that. Mmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what it's supposed to taste like. <laughs> he shoots. He scores. <laughs> you wish. 
<laughs> I see you, Milton. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Please have a seat. <laughs> All right, cool your jets, people. I hope you're ready for your exam. It counts for 30% of your grade. 30%? That's like half. I see you're doing well in math, too. Hey! Danielle, I expect a passing grade from you. From me? Good luck with that. How about you, Mr. MVP, the basketball superstar? Did you study? Yeah, I studied. Mm -hmm. But I don't see why. As long as I can sign a contract and get a huge signing bonus, then who needs to study? Okay. Well, that sounds like a foolproof plan, but it would be nice to have something to fall back on just in case. All right, everybody, you got 45 minutes to complete this test. And if you're thinking about cheating off of someone else's paper, remember, they're probably flunking, too. Hey, Jamal. Let me get those for you. Thank you. All right. And before we get started, I just want to apologize in advance. Apologize for what? For that. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? I think I'm bleeding. Now you have to apply pressure with your lips. Did Jamal tell you why I'm here? Yes. I told him you wanted to make chicken cacciatore to impress your new man. So I put two and two together and assumed you was talking about me. Oh, please. My new man is sexy and sophisticated. I know. Me. Have you seen this onesie? His name is Marvin, and I plan on being honest and devoted to him. Right after I trick him into thinking I make a mean chicken cacciatore. Did I forget anything? Nope, it's all here. Good. If you need something to cut that with, I can give you back the knife you stuck in my heart. <laughs> Thank you. Whatever. Uh, I'm gonna head on back. I'll see you after school. Okay. Uh, Tony. Yes? Shut your flap. What? I didn't say anything. I know. Your flap? Thanks again, Jamal. Coach, what's up, man? Hey, Marcus. Hey. What'd you meet Derek Watson? Oh. We played together in high school. How are you, Derek? Oh, man, I've been a big fan of yours ever <laughs> since I saw you in Independence Day. <laughs> hey, that was Will Smith, man. <laughs> oh, my bad. My, I'm sorry, I'm lunching. I'm lunching. You know what it was? It was rush out. <laughs> oh, that, that was Chris Tucker, dog. What the heck were you in? Everything else. I never saw that one. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Thompson put me up to that. I've seen all your stuff. <laughs> you had me on that one. All right. Derek's a recruiter at State. He's here to scout Carlos for the big game. Oh, yeah, we're pretty high on Carlos up at State. We think he has what it takes to go all the way. Uh, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but uh, you guys won't be seeing Carlos do anything. He failed his English test. So, unfortunately, he can't play. I got this, Derek. Let me talk to Marcus for a minute. Now, Marcus. <laughs> As teachers, we're supposed to provide an opportunity for kids who might otherwise not have one. True. So do you think it's right that we take an opportunity away just because of a tiny little test? Carlos knew it was worth 30% of his grade, and he didn't take it seriously. You don't know that. Yes, I do. Do you know what he wrote when I asked him to summarize the diary of Anne Frank? He said he didn't read it because it wasn't polite to read other people's diaries. <laughs> you see? That's a good kid. Respects other people's privacy. The rules are the rules. Your team is supposed to pass their classes if they want to play. Give the kid a break, right? Basketball is his only ticket out of here, right? He's not like me. He can't rely on his charm alone. <laughs> you asking me to look the other way and change his grade? Oh, no. You can look the same way. Just change the grade. What are you doing back there? Checking out that onion. Excuse me? He dropped the onion. Hey, man. I hate onions anyway, but not as much as I hate Marvin. He stole my woman, you know. I am not your woman. You know what? If you need me, I'll be in my room, mending my broken heart. When this chicken cacciatore's done, it's gonna be better than Verona's. Where'd you learn to cook so well? Well, you know, I grew up around my grandma. You know, she was a gourmet chef. Her cooking was amazing. Oh. My grandfather loved it, too. He ate every last bite she ever put on the table. <laughs> That's sweet. So her cooking made him happy? No, it made him dead. What? Yeah. <laughs> Grandma's cooking was tasty, but it wasn't really healthy. <laughs> when he got sick, his arteries were so clogged, they didn't call a doctor, they called a plumber. <laughs> well, don't you go off and Marvin on me. Oh, no, you don't have to worry about that. I've learned to take a healthier approach. 
Same great taste, no clogged arteries. Good. <laughs> Try this. Mmm, that's on point. <laughs> Marvin is gonna fall in love with me all over again. Instead of chicken cacciatore, maybe we should call it chicken catchamani. I like that. Me too. Marcus, I have a two for one coupon to shenanigans. Come on, hurry up, let's go before they run out of ambrosia. I'm not going to shenanigans, Bobby. What? You have to go. It's a two for one coupon. Last time I had to bring a homeless guy. How did that save you any money? Mine was free, I made him pay. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Hey, didn't you tell me on the phone you had a problem with Carlos? What's uh, up? Carlos, man, he did horrible on his last test, so I decided to let him retake it. Take, take, take. That's all these kids do. Can I have my pen back, please? <laughs> I heard Coach Thompson was asking you to give Carlos a passing grade. <laughs> yeah. That's terrible. I know. Don't give him a passing grade. Give him an A. Give him an A? He can't even spell A. Come on, Freddie. You must know the value of a good education. I do. But what does a good education have to do with this school? It has everything to do with every school. I mean, come on. Maybe we can't let our kids get out of here with a subpar education. Subpar? You teach golf? Marcus is right. Even if Carlos beats the odds and goes pro, he'll still need something to fall back on. If he makes it to the pros, he can fall back on his big fat wallet stuffed with cash. I am ready to retake this test. All right. Here you go. Good luck, Carlos. Yeah, good luck, Carlos. I want a piece of advice for you. Capca. What does that mean? Capca. C-A-B-C-A. -A. It's a multiple choice. First five answers. Capca. Let's go. Capca. Capca. Repeat it. Focus. Carla Capca. Uh -huh. Let's like, go. Like, uh -huh. <laughs> Everybody out. Shenanigans? Yeah. No! <laughs> Two for one. I'm sorry, Carlos. You scored less than 50%. That's not even close. Come on, Mr. J. Nobody has to know that but you and me. I'm sorry, Carlos. You didn't pass, so you can't play. Fine, then. Thanks for ruining my life. Hey, don't slam my door. <laughs> Here you go. Ah, that looks perfect. Thank you so much, Jamal. I don't know how I'm gonna repay you. I do. <laughs> don't make the iron chef put you in the iron lung now. <laughs> Chill out, Missy. I'm just saying, you know, if some of your friends need cooking lessons or some catering, have them give me a call. It'll be my pleasure. Do you mind if I left the chicken cacciatore in your fridge? I'll pick it up tomorrow on my way to Marvin's. Why can't you leave it in your fridge? Because there's a little problem with my electricity. What's the problem? They turned it off. <laughs> oh, this cooking is so exhausting. I think I'm gonna take me a little cat nap before I go home. You can always sleep in my room. I just got a burst of energy. Out of my way, Yogi. See you tomorrow night. What are you doing? What do it look like I'm doing? I'm playing checkers. By yourself? That's depressing. What's depressing is I'm losing. <sighs> King me. Again? I think I'm cheating. Where's Marcus? You missed him. Jamal took him to get a haircut. Don't care anymore. <laughs> I'm hungry. Do you have any leftovers? No, we don't have. As a matter of fact, we have some delicious chicken cacciatore. <laughs> oh, I love chicken cacciatore. It's all yours. Here, enjoy. Take it home. Thank you. Tell Marcus I'll call him after my cacciatore induced nap. And now, out of my way! Enjoy the food. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> I know who won't be enjoying it, Marvin. Yo, Marcus, how's my brother from another mother? He still can't play. I hate you with the heat of a thousand suns. <laughs> this is so whack, Mr. Jackson. I know you don't understand, but in time, you'll get it. And what will I be doing when I get it? Am I gonna be working as a janitor? 
Or maybe I'll be telling my kids that daddy couldn't afford food because he didn't pass a stinking English test. Carlos, you know that you should have studied harder. But that's your answer for everything. And I did study. Just not smart enough. Carlos, let me ask you something. Were you good the first time you picked up a basketball? I was four years old. But were you any good? No, of course not. Oh, okay, you practiced, right? And you applied what you learned and became the best baller in the city. Yeah, but that's basketball. It's different. It's no different. If you spend as much time on your schoolwork as you do basketball, I know you pass. No, this is so unfair. No, what's unfair is sending you out into a real world unprepared. Anything can happen out there. You twist your ankle, you blow out your knee, and then what? Oh, oh man, you are tripping, coach. Tell him. He's right. Thank you, coach. No, not you. Mr. Jackson's right. I am? <laughs> when I graduated, I thought I was going to be the next big thing. I had it all planned out. I was gonna play for the Boston Celtics, the Lakers, win a few championships, marry Miss America. Talk about unrealistic expectations. <laughs> then, you know what happened? What? I blew out my knee in college, and everything changed. Yeah, but that won't happen to me. Ah, I said that too. Mm -hmm. But thank goodness I had a backup plan. I used my time wisely in college, and I got my degree. Lucky for me, I had something to fall back on. So what, now you don't think I should play either? Well, if you can look yourself in the mirror and honestly say that you did your best to pass Mr. Jackson's test and that you tried your absolute hardest, then yeah, you can play. I can? He can! Well, I tried my absolute hardest. <laughs> I am gonna play. Coach, I think that's a huge mistake. I don't think so. I bet your life on it. And, uh, no, I didn't try my hardest. I'm not gonna play. Man, you're smarter than you look. <laughs> oh, man, where could it be? I can't believe this is happening. Tony, did you eat the chicken cacciatore? No! Look, I promise, I didn't eat it. Bobby did. Why would Bobby do that? Because I gave it to him. Why? I can't believe that you would purposely hurt me like this. I wasn't trying to hurt you. I was just thinking about yourself. Cassandra, I could just whip up another one real fast. You just go stall Marvin. No, I... that's OK. It's over. Maybe this is a sign. Yeah, this is a sign that I'm selfish. Mm. Look, I was jealous, and I hated the idea of you being so excited about another guy. When I like you. This is how you treat people you like? No, yes. I mean, knowing yes. <laughs> the point is, I do like you. And I want you to be happy, even if it's not with me. So. <gasps> Baronas! I thought it burned down. It did. But I went online and found it rebuilt and reopened on this side of town. So I got you your famous chicken cacciatore, just like you used to fake make. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. So you're not mad anymore? I'm furious. <laughs> and I'm flattered. You're all right, Tony. <laughs> Bye, y'all. I'm never washing my face again. You never washed it before. <laughs> That's besides the point. Guess you heard we won the game. Yeah, congratulations. And you guys did it without Carlos. It's a shame you didn't get a chance to see him play. What? We've been scouting Carlos since he was 12. I've seen him play plenty of times. As long as he gets his grades up, we'll still be interested. That's fantastic. I'll let him know. I got to say, winning a game without your star player was some brilliant coaching there, Thompson. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear the word brilliant and your name in the same sentence. Oh, please. I know way more about basketball than you'll ever know. You sure about that? There's nothing you can say to convince me that you know more about basketball than I do. Really? Yeah. Well, how about this? I'm thinking about buying my own team, and I'm probably gonna need a coach. <laughs> you just convinced me, boss. <laughs> I know a lot more about basketball than I do. That's what I thought you said. 